advent on earth, these were the instructions of the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna to his devotee Arjun in the concluding parts of Bhagavad Gita. And thus was born a new wave of Krishna consciousness, a way of spiritual living inspired and sparked by the supreme devotion to Lord Shri Krishna. Five thousand years later, a movement was born with a mission to revive and spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. Srila Prabhupada, a pure devotee of Lord Sri Krishna and Acharya, took the divine message of Krishna consciousness all over the world and established 108 Krishna temples. He described chanting Krishna's holy names, joyous singing and dancing, philosophizing and feasting Krishna Prasadam is the world of Krishna consciousness. To advance and further the divine mission of Srila Prabhupada at the very holy place where it was first conceived, Sri Vrindavan Dham. Aradhyo Bhagavan Rajeshatanaya Thaddhama Vrindavanam Just as Lord Shri Krishna is worshipable, His abode Vrindavan Dham is also worshipable. So for devotees of Krishna, Vrindavan is a very important place, one of the spiritual capitals in our country. The devotees of ISKCON Bangalore have conceived a new project in Vrindavan. This is the grand Vrindavan Chandrodaya Mandir and Krishna Leela Park. In Vrindavan itself, Prabhupada said, you know, if you want to build something for Krishna, you build a skyscraper. A skyscraper temple is something that even Prabhupada envisioned. We wanted to have a monumental, an iconic temple to celebrate, to commemorate the contributions that Lord Sri Krishna has made. In today's world, it is large monuments which make a statement. That is what attracts the attention of the people. And so, we felt we have to have a very iconic and monumental temple of Krishna to be able to attract today's generation. Spread over 65 acres in the heart of Vrindavan, this grand temple has a footprint of five and a half acres and is 700 feet or 70 stories. When I started, you know, thinking of what could be the seed idea for the external form, of this temple. Uh, somehow the pyramid came into my mind and I thought it should be a development of this pyramid form. People who associate with this temple, they get an opportunity to associate with the Vedic knowledge and the cultural elements participate in, in, in cultural events which are centered around our spirituality. So in other words, we want to spiritualize people's consciousness when they come to this temple, give them an experience of touch of the Supreme Spirit Krishna. A 
around the Grand Temple is the recreated 30 acres of forest of Vrindavan. Ancient texts describe 5,000 years back when Lord Sri Krishna was present in Vrindavan. This whole area was thick wooded forests. In fact, they describe that there were 12 different kinds of forests in Braj Bhumi. We also plan to have a recreated Yamuna Creek meandering, which will also offer an opportunity for people uh, to go around the forest, a boating opportunity, and that way we want to transport people to the times and age of Krishna. Another important aspect of the project is the housing opportunities in the precincts of the Grand Temple. All set in the midst of the wooded areas with beautiful view of and easy access to the Grand Temple. We not only want people to be passing by, visiting and you know, going away it's the same day. We wanted to create residential facilities for those who want to stay a few days and experience that spiritual atmosphere. Donors who contribute towards the construction of the Grand Temple can stay in these housing facilities for short or long stay so that they can participate and immerse themselves in the spiritual activities of the temple along with their families. These facilities are of varied kinds, bungalows, apartments or simple rooms. Come and participate in this historic moment to become an instrument in the making of the grand skyscraper temple for Lord Sri Krishna in the holy land of Vrindavan. As Srila Prabhupada said, if you build a temple of Lord Sri Krishna here in this world, Sri Krishna will build a palace for you in the spiritual world, Vaikuntha. I think it's an inspiration of Krishna, this concept. Uh, I, I would say that these kind of big projects, the big moves are made by the big people. Today people lead a life with so much information, entertainment, activities, stressed out in urban centers. So we want people to come to our temple here in Vrindavan and spend a few days, a few weeks, maybe a few months and that way learn some of the aspects of Krishna's philosophy and go back to their homes and workplaces and lead a more enlightened, more enriched, more sublime life.